Do you know how Adam Smith and economic growth? Let's be look about it. Growth is everywhere. A tree grows from a seed to a plant. And the economy grows too. But how do we measure economic growth? The value of all the products manufactured and sold in a country over the course of one year, along with everything that people do and get paid for, all that amounts to the gross domestic product. When people earn more money and then buy more products and services, the economy grows. Trade surplus is the value of all export, exceeds the value of all import. Trade deficit is the value of all import, exceeds the value of all export. There are many factors of trade and surplus. First, exchange rates. Second, currency valuation. And third, economic growth. Lastly, income of citizens and inflation. I have more questions. Who is Ibn Khaldun? Ibn Khaldun was born in Tunis, modern-day Tunisia, in 1332, some 400 years before Smith. As a historian, sociologist and demographer, Khaldun was one of the most respected and influential scholars of the Middle Ages. Khaldun's most well-known work, the Mukaddima, is an ambitious text that some say is the first attempt at a philosophy of history it deals with Islamic theology, science, history, sociology, and like Smith, economics. And the similarities between Smith and Khaldun's work are striking. Like Smith, Khaldun points to labour, not gold or silver, as the source of wealth and advocates for the division of labour in the same way Smith did. He said that when six or ten persons, including a smith and a carpenter to make the tools, and others who are in charge of the oxen, the ploughing of the soil, the harvesting of the ripe grain and all the other agricultural activities, undertake to obtain their food and work toward that purpose either separately or collectively, and thus obtain through their labour a certain amount of food, that amount will be food for a number of people many times their own. The combined labour produces more than the needs and necessities of the workers. Talking about supply and demand, Khaldun said that when goods are few and rare, their prices go up. On the other hand, when the country is near and the roads safe for travelling, there will be many to transport the goods. Thus, they will be found in large quantities and the prices